What's up, boys? Today, I'll be showing you guys how to add your created player onto a team in NBA 2K23. This applies to old gen and new gen. It is literally the exact same. Make sure you guys leave a like on the video and subscribe, and let's just hop straight in. But seriously, would appreciate it if you guys would leave a like on the video and subscribe. Tons of like VC glitches and badge glitches, methods, all the different stuff coming out of the channel. So you guys are definitely want to stick around and subscribe with those post notifications on. But this is how you guys do it. So you guys first off want to go to create a player. If you guys have not yet created a player, make sure you guys create a player make sure you guys have your created player in here make sure you guys have the overall set to what you guys want and just make it set up to how your build actually is if you guys are trying to get your same build from my career you have to have your build in here so you guys have to set it up with the created player right here make sure you guys click on on nba right here in order to create your player once you guys do that though you guys want to head over to the create roster tab but if you guys are on new gen you can put yourself in different eras so like the kobe era the mon era the magic versus bird era you guys can put that in there if you guys want but we're gonna go to modern era just uh to help the current gen guys out i guess but then you guys want to head over to the official 2k sports roster when you guys are in this official 2k sports roster what you guys want to do is click on the left bumper until you guys get to created players and once you guys get to created players you will see your created player you then want to click on your player and then click on copy to team. But you guys cannot put yourself on a team that has 15 players. If you're trying to put yourself on a team that has 15 players, you have to go ahead and cut someone that is on the active roster, whatever you guys want to call it. So let's just cut Montrez Harrell right here from the 76ers if we were trying to play for the 76ers. You then want to click on delete from roster or release to free agency, something like that. So we'll just head on release to free agency for Montrez right there. And then we will go to creative players and then go to copy to team. And then we will put ourselves on the Philadelphia 76ers. You pretty much just have to cut players like all the way up until there's 14 on the roster. So that part kind of sucks. Although if you guys are trying to play for the team like the, the Heat, that will actually let you guys put them on them because they only have 14 players on their active roster right now so if you guys want to play for the heat you guys can play for the heat and put yourself on the heat so now that we've done that we are officially on the heat so let's go over to miami and i'll show you guys that we are now indeed on the heat once you guys cut it that many players and right there we are now on the heat as you guys can see right there so it's really really simple to do right there however you do have to still mess around with this a little bit because you guys do have to customize the minutes if you guys want to get playing time click on the right trigger no matter what console you guys are on and I'm going to switch my face cam real quick so I can show you guys the minutes right here. So you guys have to take, if you guys want to be the starting point guard on your team or whatever, just take all the minutes away from one of the starters. And obviously, just, if you guys want to have like Lowry as a six man, obviously adjust the minutes to show that. But we're going to go ahead and give ourselves, wherever we are, there we go. We're going to go ahead and give ourselves Kyle Lowry's minutes as you guys can see right there. And we can also move ourselves up in the rotation. So now that we are in the starting lineup with all of the minutes that we want. So as you guys can see, we are now in the heat. We have our full minutes and everything like that. And that is pretty much it, man. But then you guys just want to exit out by hitting the B button and then go ahead and save the roster. So we'll save the roster to whatever you guys want. And after you guys save the roster, you guys are all good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to whatever you guys want. If you guys want to hop into my league, just make sure you guys change the roster. If you guys are trying to do a game against your friends or something and click play, all you have to do is click in on the left stick and then load up the user created roster. You have to do this if you guys are in my league, whatever you guys are doing. But let's go ahead and load this roster up right here. And you guys will see that now we are we are able to switch over to the heat and use our my players. So really, really easy to do. By the way, I didn't end up saving that roster. So that's why I'm not the starting point guard on the team. So yeah, just you you will see your guy if you guys do this correctly. You guys will see him up there at point guard or wherever you guys put him in the rotation. So this definitely 100% works. Let me know if you guys have any questions down in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you guys out. But that's how you guys can put your created player onto a team in NBA 2K23, old gen and new gen. Again, make sure you guys leave a like on the video and subscribe. I seriously would appreciate it. We are on the road now to 17,000 subscribers. Please subscribe to the channel right here. And also check out this video up here that YouTube's recommended for you. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, boys.